I'm uh, I'm Merv Kenward. I'm Nikki's husband. Um, we've been married for 30 years, um, and uh, it's been it's been eventful, no doubt. Um, probably soon after we got married, uh, Nikki spent a year in hospital with a really serious illness. I contracted a virus called Game Boss Syndrome, so I was completely paralysed and left with just one eye that worked to communicate with. I was in intensive care, nearly five months. It was really hard to imagine her unable to move, maybe unable to speak. And I, and I could easily have seen a situation where if a doctor had said to me, would your wife like to live? I might have said, no. Thank goodness that we had our son Alfie, uh, who was one at the time. And I guess in many respects, he was the driver. That, that just kept things, kept us thinking that uh, we must do all that we can to, to, to be together, stay alive, keep positive. I was a theatre director in various places all over the country. So that meant that when it came to the vote in Parliament, um, we were able to come up with the idea of having an enormous judge. So we went to our friend, the puppeteer Pervin, and between us, we designed an event that would pull in, we hope, the, the, the TV to us. In November, 2015, we secured a judicial review in the High Court um, in which we were hoping to explore the softening of the guidelines by Alison Saunders around this issue of assisted suicide. Alison Saunders um, suggests that she has clarified the guidelines around assisted suicide. We felt very strongly that she'd actually amended those guidelines. What she has said um, is that you should look upon people who aren't involved in your care, whether it's a doctor you don't know, a nurse you don't know, or a carer, or even a prison officer was mentioned, that they should be looked upon kindly and not prosecuted if they helped you to die. Uh, Judge Leveson, throughout the case, what we're hoping to do on the 17th of January is to seek permission to actually review that decision that was made by Judge Leveson. Once again, we'll be working with Christian Legal Centre who've supported our case and continue to do so. This case can be defined by an action and a consequence. First, the action. At the heart of this case is the fact that the courts and the executive have abused their authority in bypassing Parliament and relaxing punishment guidelines of medical staff which were form in assisted suicides. This type of activism cannot and should not be accepted in a democratic society. And second, the consequence. The stakes couldn't be any higher. History has shown that once doc doctor prescribed death escapes regulation, the conditions and circumstances in which it grows is exponential, and examples abound. In Switzerland, once adopted, the instances of assisted suicide grew an astounding 700% in just 10 years. In the Netherlands, instances, instances of unreported euthanasia are rampant. That means the death of patients who have not given their consent to die, our mothers and fathers, our grandparents, and our disabled. The courts in the Netherlands have gone uh, so far as to extend assisted suicide to cases involving just depression, where no physical suffering is present. And in Belgium, only two years ago, the parliament legalized child euthanasia. While the actions of the DPP in the courts does not legalize assisted suicide, it nonetheless moves the ball forward in that direction. Please pray for Nikki and Merv Kenward and the Christian Legal Center as we defend the sanctity and dignity of life. We need your prayers and we need your support.